Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I decided to do a six months later type of a review of my Tag Heuer Aqua Racer. The idea here is just to sort of tell you what I think of it thus far. I'll go over a few things, uh, maybe do something like the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> um, you know, we're just going to kind of take a little overview of the watch and what I like, what I don't like so far. Um, you know, six months is a long time, and I should be able to have a, you know, a, a good opinion about this watch so far. Um, before we continue, let's do a quick wrist check. There it is. You know it. I'm wearing my Zelos Sky Raider V2. This is the one with the blue meteorite on a titanium bracelet and just titanium everywhere. Beautiful watch. I keep wearing it. I've been wearing it since I got it. Keeps an amazing time. And the power reserve on this thing is about just over 54 hours, actually. <laughs> 54 hours. Yeah. Pretty awesome, right? All right. I also wanted to ask you to please subscribe if you haven't done so far. It helps the channel a lot. Um, every sub counts, guys. Thank you so much, and let's get to it. So after having this watch for a few months now, um, I still love it. And it's one of my three watches that I wear the most. So it's in my top three, right? Over the course of time, I've noticed a few things. First thing, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, actually, not at all. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that... Um, and that's without, you know, me using a time grapher as I don't have one yet. My watch gains about 15 seconds by the end of the week. So that means by Friday, Friday evening, it's gained about 15 seconds, more or less. Um, that's not bad at all because this is a ETA 2824-2. This is the base movement. And as you know, base movements are usually only adjusted to two positions. Um, so I'm not, um, if I'm not mistaken, the suggested variations um, for ETA 28-24-2 base movements are usually plus minus 12 seconds a day with a maximum daily variation of about plus minus 30 seconds a day. So, you know, for me to be getting plus 15 by the end of, you know, the week, I'll take it. That means it's only gaining a few seconds a day. Um, that's not bad at all. Now, I do want to get a time grapher um, and I, I do want to run some more tests and all that on all of my watches, actually. Um, so if you have any suggestions... Um, as far as good time graphers, they're they're for sale right now. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be I'll be interested in uh, checking those out. You know, uh, as far as it's nothing too crazy, <laughs> uh, price wise, but I I don't mind spending a few bucks and getting a good time grapher. Um, and you know, just for the channel, we'll show it out on here and see what numbers we get. All right, so yeah, let's move on to the next thing. Now, here's something that has nothing to do with the movement. And we're going to talk about the case of the watch. Okay, this thin case. And there's one thing I don't like. It's pretty much the only thing I don't like. And it's not a big deal, but it's there. And I'll show you what I mean. So this watch, this watch got some very sharp edges. And I'm talking about the lug, uh, the lug, lug to lug, sorry, the lug to lug um, edges there. So you can see if you put your finger right here, you can feel this is very sharp. All four of them are very, very sharp. Um, this one here as well. Yeah. So <laughs> here's the thing. If you spend close to $2,000 on a watch like this, you shouldn't have to deal with sharp edges at all. I understand 
if it's a micro brand watch and you know it wasn't brushed polished whatever all around then that's fine but um i don't think yeah we should have such um sharp edges here i noticed that uh one day i was taking the watch off my wrist i was using my right hand right and i slid my finger here and i was like oh man that was sharp holy cow and so i did it again and there you go it's it's there it's sharp so let me know i know a couple of you guys of uh, viewers of my channel have the same exact watch do you have the same problem i mean can you can you let me know i'm just curious i wonder if it's just mine or everybody's got that issue and i wouldn't call it an issue i'm assuming it's a normal thing but it really shouldn't be like that if you ask me Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but um, I have praised many times the quality of this bracelet. Um, as you know by now, I am not a bracelet guy, and yet I love this one. Um, so this watch gets a lot of points for having an amazingly comfortable bracelet. I mean, this thing sits on the wrist so nicely. Look how flat it is. I mean, it just... It wraps around your wrist regardless of the size. Um, so with a 41 mil dial and a such a comfortable wristlet, um, <laughs> sorry, bracelet, it just it would fit pretty much any wrist size. I mean, I think that's why this watch got such a big following. Um, it's just it's so comfortable. I call it user friendly. <laughs> okay, so they get a lot of points for the for the bracelet. And now the main part, the thing that everybody loves about this watch, the dial. And we're going to zoom in a little bit. And guys, I'm going to add um, a couple of macro shots um, in this video. So stay tuned for those. They might come before or after this segment, but they're going to be included in the video. So the dial. I've seen a lot of dials. I've never seen one like this. And it's not, it's not loomed, but the patterns are absolutely gorgeous on it. Um, I I used to describe this watch as the polar white because it's got this polar white dial with a beautiful pop of orange um, with the seconds hand. And let's zoom in a little bit more. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's simple, yet gorgeous. Yeah, so this is where Tag gets most of their points on this watch, is that dial with the, with the orange seconds pop. And let me know, what do you think? Is this your favorite, um, favorite thing about this watch? For me, it sure is, that and the bracelet. So let's talk about the bezel now. Bezel action is very smooth and I absolutely love it. So they get even more points for that. Let me show you. I'm barely putting any force and it's rotating super easily. No struggle whatsoever here. There's no back play or anything like that. Great sound as it's rotating. Um, it's awesome. Awesome bezel rotation. So, um, so overall, guys, there's really nothing that I don't like about this watch. I mean, to me, it checks all the boxes. It has a very cool sporty look. Um, it could easily be a dress watch as well as a casual wear watch. And don't forget, this one got the two-tone loom, so it's super cool to look at um, in the dark. 
and I will be showing you uh, that. I'm going to give you a loom shot. We're probably going to close with that. But, um, yeah, I mean, i pretty happy. So, guys, let me know what do you think about this watch. I know there's a couple of yours um, of the channel that have this exact model, right? And you guys have talked to me in the comment section below. You've mentioned you finally got it and whatnot, and I'm super excited about you. So let me know, um, what do you think about this one? I mean, do you still like it? Do you still enjoy it? Because um, I sure do. All right, well, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, guys, I'm going to sh I'm going to close you with a loom shot. Um, it's not completely dark here right now, um, so but you can definitely easily see see the loom on this. And if you want a better loom shot, just check out the original video. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm showing that there, but you can you can see them. It's right there. It's it glows. It glows big time. So um, yeah. I wish you guys happy holidays. Um, thanks for watching yet another video. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.